Welcome back to Desert Smoke Reviews. This is Justin. What? Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at the Rocky Patel Platinum. This is a gorgeous looking box press cigar coming with an extremely dark wrapper. Uh, seams are done really well. Our, uh, yeah, veins are very fine. One prominent right here shouldn't be a problem. Just overall a beautiful looking stick. Uh, kind of a firm pack but shouldn't be too much of an issue. Uh, nice hard box press on the top and then kind of a soft box press on the bottom for my cigar. I don't, I don't think that was on purpose. This might be the way this one ended up. Off the wrapper I just get a nice rich tobacco and deep earth. Maybe a bit of chocolate but I'm not sure. And off the foot I pick up that. For me it's chocolate and earth. What? You know, I also have the, the same uh, kind of bizarre box press of my cigar. Um, strange, I haven't seen that before, but um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful looking stick. I mean, the band and everything, you know, that, that kind of silver versus the almost jet black of the cigar. I mean, it's wonderful, wonderful contrast. Uh, pretty firm pack, um, very kind of a sandpaper uh, feel to the wrapper, but um, yeah, on the aroma, very, very earthy on the, on the wrapper, very aromatic. And then off the foot, you know, chocolate, earth, and like real musky tobacco for me. Wonderful, wonderful aroma. Lit up. Wonderful first puff for me. Um, no chocolate or anything, but very, very deep, musky, rich earth. Um, there's a little bit of pepper that snuck up on me and kind of sat at the back of my tongue, but uh, that's pretty fleeting. Just very, very deep, rich flavors. Yeah, for me, it's a very rich, deep tobacco earth, and I agree, like a musky earth, almost like gives the sensation to me of like right before or right after it rains. It's just, it just seems wet and, and, and very, very nice. Uh, I agree the pepper does come in. For me it's a little more than fleeting. It kind of really sits at the tip of your tongue. Kind of lets you know it's there. But nothing overpowering at all. Just so far really nice start. Let's give him the first third and see how it goes. Welcome back. We're about 10 minutes into this Rocky Patel Platinum. Overall, uh, no construction issues. Burn isn't perfect. Um, but uh, no touch-ups needed. I was hoping the ash would hold on, but I kind of was messing around and it got tapped off. Um, but so far, really nice draw, no problems. It's about a medium, uh, medium to full in body. Those flavors are pretty potent for me. Strength's pretty mild to medium though, but I, I, I suspect that's gonna change. Uh, flavors, I'm getting, excuse me, um, Still very much a nice little subtle pepper, but like a sweet and spicy uh, coming in on the finish. It's very nice, very uh, very unexpected. Uh, on the front of the palate, I still get a nice deep, rich tobacco, a bit of earth, um, a little bit of wood even, uh, and a nice, I don't want to say coffee, but something that's starting to resemble coffee. What? Yeah, uh, I forgot to mention how oily the wrapper was, and it leaves a real nice sheen on your lips. Um, great construction so far. I've got one little... Uh, wonky burn area, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, but yeah, flavors, it, it's bizarre. That musky earth is now, is now kind of slowly transforming into a dry earth. But other than that, I agree wholeheartedly with Justin. Um, it's not quite coffee. It's kind of like, um, I, heard, I heard the term mocha, you know, and, and I, I think that's the one thing that I could attribute it to. Uh, like something you get at like a Donuts or, or Starbucks or something. But um, very, very good. Very good. I'm really enjoying this. Well, let's get into the second third, see how it develops. Welcome back. We're about halfway on this Rocky Patel Platinum. And uh, the cigar's really kind of, I don't want to say come into itself, but it's really kind of come into itself. Um, to me, it's, it's around medium to full in body. Uh, about a medium in strength. No construction issues, no burn issues. Draw's been nice. The flavors that 
that, that deep earth and, and rich tobacco was still there. Yeah, I agree, it's like a dry earth. And I think it's the result from like the, a, a nice woody flavor that's mixed in there. It kind of dries out that earth for me. And that dies into a nice, we, uh, we mentioned like, uh, why I said like a mocha, and I said there was like a coffee taste coming in. And I agree, it was very uh, mocha, uh, like a milk, and, or a chocolate and coffee for about five, ten minutes, and it's really died now into a real creamy coffee for me. The spice or the pepper is gone. I still got a bit of sweetness on the finish, but it's like that milky, uh, heavy cream coffee in that finish. It is an excellent, excellent finish, and it is relatively long. I really enjoy it. What? Yeah. I mean, just a great cigar so far. Um, I guess my one construction issue kind of is still an issue, but, you know, no no burn problems other than that. Uh, excellent draw. Um, yeah, the, the, the flavor for me, I agree with Justin, uh, is kind of gone from that, that bare bones chocolate to mocha and now to a full-on coffee. Uh, and it's very interesting. I mean, it's, it's a very complex cigar. The smoke itself is very smooth. Uh, I just don't have any, any complaints with this cigar. I mean, we're ending our day with this, and this is a great cigar to end your day with. Uh, just no complaints. Let's get in the final third. Let's see how it goes. Well, welcome back. We're at the nub point of this Rocky Patel Platinum. Um, overall, construction was really good. I didn't have any issues. Burn was never perfect, but never needed a touch-up. Draw was good. Uh, just overall, well-constructed cigar. About a medium and the full in body. It flirted both ways. I uh, almost wanted to say full there for a little while, but I'd just say medium too full. Strengths around a medium. Doesn't kick your butt at all. Uh, flavors uh, in this final third just really haven't changed. Just a very nice uh, earth and wood in the front of your uh, front uh, flavors, as well as some rich tobacco. That dies into a really nice milky, creamy coffee and a bit of sweetness as well. It's a relatively long finish. The retro hail though has always got a bit of pepper for me. It's not overwhelming, but that's you know that's the main flavor on the retro hail. But uh, overall, very nice stick. Um, oh, excuse me. If I was going to rate this cigar, I would probably give it like an 8.5. It's an excellent stick. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely uh, try it again. It's something that if I saw on a B and M and didn't know quite what to smoke, I, I think this would be my go-to for a while. What? Yeah, I totally agree. Um... Excellent construction the whole way through. I mean, I'm at the nub point here, and it's still holding together. It's not hot or spongy. Um, great flavors. Uh, fairly complex. Um, like I said, it went from that kind of border, just regular chocolate to that mocha type of flavor, and then ended it with a, a real nice creamy coffee. Uh, had some wood, had some uh, some earth that changed from musky uh, uh, and almost wet and damp, like Justin said, to dry uh, and kind of woodsy. Uh, just a, a complex, really interesting cigar. Uh, great to end your day with. Not something I'd take out of the golf course. Um, if you got a smaller size, I could see probably starting your day with this because it's it's not really really heavy. Uh, I mean, it's got enough pepper there, especially at the beginning, to wake you up, but uh, it's not going to knock you out or anything. Um, I go a little bit higher. I'd, I'd give this cigar a nine. Uh, it's something I definitely smoke again. Um, it's something that if you see it at a, at a B&M or you see online or something, you should definitely pick up. Uh, it's definitely one of the better Rocky Patels that I've had and uh, would make an excellent addition to your human board. Well, in conclusion, if you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. But until next time, smoke them if you got them.